500 with occasional spikes on certain days. I recommend going to five days and this will give you a good, much more precise view of how many um, how many times this item is traded on a daily basis. So you can see the average here is between about 250 to 300, maybe even up to 400 on a good day. So the item is traded a lot. Um, the items that are traded the most are ammo and minerals. The items that are traded the least are high-end tier 2 and tier 3 ship mods and actual ships themselves. I recommend finding, an, uh, finding items that trade between about 2 to 1,000 a day um, to get started off with. Alright, so how are we going to go about actually making ISK? Well, what you're going to do is send some ISK to this alt. Um, on my trading alt, I start off with 5 million. About 6 weeks later, he's at 500 million. Um, so whatever your starting seed is will help determine how quickly you make ISK. But if you keep on reinvesting your profits, you'll rapidly um, accelerate your ISK making potential. It's an exponential curve on making ISK. So my 500 million currently on my trading alt can be a few billion within a month or two. So what I'm going to do now that I've found a good item to trade is place a buy order. What I want to do is make my buy order higher than all the other current buy orders. So when somebody comes into the station and says, okay, I got a J5 prototype warp disruptor off a rat, I want to sell it, they're just going to be lazy, they're going to click sell, and it's automatically going to go to whoever has the highest buy order, which I want to be me. So I'm going to set it for 10,201 ISK. So I'm going to upbid the current highest bid by one ISK. I'm also going to want to change a couple options. For duration, which is how long your buy order is going to stay on the market, you want to select three months, which is the maximum. Um, there's really absolutely no purpose on making it shorter than three months. All it's going to do is cancel your orders before they're filled and you're just wasting, wasting ISK for no reason. Mm. You're also going to want to make sure that your range is set to station because we are station trading. So you don't want to buy items that are in different stations or in different systems because then you'd have to go out there, pick them up, and bring them back. And we're not going to cover that for the moment. Now your minimum quantity, make sure that's set to 1 um, because you want to buy every single one of them that's sold. You don't want to only limit yourself to bulk selling orders and buying orders. Your quantity that you want to buy is actually going to be limited by how much ISK you have and how much the item um, is currently being bought for and also how, much, um, how big of a percentage of your total trade you want this to be. So in this alt I have a little under 2 million ISK that I gave myself. I'm going to probably want to buy about a hundred of them. So this is about 50% of my working capital. In general, I recommend making it more around 5% of your working capital and limiting yourself to about 15 to 20 items actively traded. Okay, so I'm going to buy a hundred of these for 10,201 ISK total, and this buy order is going to equal 1,030,000 ISK. Click Remember Settings. This will remember the three months and station options that you selected before for all your other buy and sell orders, so you don't have to worry about that ever again. Click Buy. Wait for it to update. Oh, and here you go. My order for 100 J5 prototype warp disruptors at 10,201 is now currently the highest buy order. This means that anybody that comes into the station from here on out until somebody upbids me will go directly to me. All right, now in this example, I've already given myself a few of these suckers. I've got 20 of them. Look, somebody just filled one of my buy orders already, so I'm already in business within a few seconds. So now that I'm starting to gain an inventory of these items, I want to resell them. I'm not going to use them. I'm here to trade them. So I right-click on it and select Sell This Item. Now the default menu it gives you is basically selling to the current highest buyer, which in this case is me. And you do not want to sell to yourself because it's pointless and you're just going to be wasting your broker fee and your taxes. So you want to click Advanced because you actually want to create an order rather than just sell it off immediately. So you want to create the lowest sell order, which means that you want to underbid whoever else is selling this item in this station. Now the current lowest price for this item is 21989 So I'm going to create a sell order for 21988 I want to sell quantity 20, which it'll automatically default to however much you have in your inventory, which is perfect. You want to change your duration to three months. Remember settings. Okay, so if I sell all 20 of these items for 21,998, it's going to make me 430,000 ISK, which is good. So now I click sell. Boom. It updates. I have the lowest sell order and the highest buy order. I am in business. So all I have to do from this point on is log on once or twice a day and then I will want to change my orders 
I want to modify them, you go to your wallet. Here you see your orders listed. J5 Prototype Warp Disruptor. I will want to right click it, view market details, which will bring up this tab. It will show you your high, the highest buy and sell. I will right click modify. And then you're just going to want to update your orders because people will be underbidding you and overbidding you on buy and sell orders and you want to do the same to them. So then you just update your order here, 21987, total change in 20 ISK, broker fee, you just ignore those, click OK. If somebody had underbid me, I would have just underbid them again. Now this order won't go through because once you place an order, you can't change it for five minutes afterwards. But in theory, this is how you would log on every day. You would modify your sell orders, you would modify your buy orders, and once they've been completely fulfilled, you would put up new ones. Um, and as I said before, I recommend trading about 15 to 20 items. Um, I would always, every week or two, I would cut out your three to four lowest um, ISK generating items and look for new items to sell. And you can literally find all kinds of items to sell um, and buy. Some of them are going to have different margins. Like this one has a huge margin. You could be buying these for 1200 ISK and selling them for 75,000 ISK. But they're probably going to have a pretty low volume. As you can see here, the volume each day is about 15 to 20 items. Um, and you can, go, you can go whichever direction you want. You can go high, high volume. You can go high margin. Um, it's really up to you to experiment and find out all kinds of different items that you can trade. Um, but the main thing is just always be on the lookout for items. Um, you'll, find, you'll find niches where you'll really find good items that trade with both good margins and good volumes. And those are the ones you want to keep around. And just rotate, rotate the other ones that are at the margin of your overall trading. Uh, so just keep doing this. Reinvest all, the, reinvest all the ISK you make in profit back into more trading. And your wallet will grow exponentially. All for about 15 to 20 minutes a day worth of time. Um, you can buy some skills for trading. Um, these will help increase your profit a little bit. Um, some of them allow you to work on intra and inter trading, uh, region trading, but those are more advanced. I wouldn't worry about those too much. I'd say for the start, just wor work on getting your items set up. Um, you can look at some of these skills, but in all honesty, they're just not going to make that much of a difference. I would keep your, tr your skill training on a different one of your characters and just not worry about this until you gain more ISK and you become more comfortable with trading. Um, I hope you guys have found this guide useful. If you have any questions, feel free to message me in-game. Uh, my name is INCY space T-A-T-U-S, and I'll see you guys for the next guide. Bye.